Hi, this is Lisa Bastian in the kitchen with more helpful hints. We all know how important it is to remain more alkaline than acidic, but our diet just doesn't simply allow for it. We have so much acidic food and so many acidic beverages in our society when we eat and drink. But I have a really great helpful hint that I want to share with you today. My favorite beverage on the planet is coffee. I love coffee. The coffee is so acidic that after two cups I can get an upset stomach. But I want to show you a little secret to that. I just brewed a fresh pot of coffee and I'm going to take an alkaline strip to show you the pH level of how acidic coffee can be. Yikes! If it was more green, green means alkaline. The lighter the color of the pH strip means it's more acidic. So now I'm going to take what is called baking soda. Now this is sodium bicarbonate. I always use an aluminum free baking soda. My favorite is always Bob's Red Mill. I just love his product. He does a great job with everything. So in the morning, I take one pinch and a small pinch, see, of sodium bicarbonate, stir it up a little bit. Now I'm gonna take another pH strip, and you saw it just a second ago I put it in there. Watch what happens. Look at that beautiful green. I just neutralized the acid of my coffee, and I made this now um, a more alkaline product. Well, I do milk in my coffee. We all know milk is a protein, so milk is obviously gonna be more acidic. So I take creamer, put a little cream in my coffee, actually a lot of cream in my coffee, take the next pH strip, dip it in here, and look what happens. It remained alkaline, it sh the shades went down just a little bit, but look at the difference. We just took an acid-based coffee and we neutralized it. Isn't that amazing? Pretty cool stuff, huh?